Hi there. So we've had a fantastic summer here in Amsterdam. The weather has been amazing. I think the best summers ever, really on record. And so um, now we're ready for the fall. We're in September, and September to me always is about you know new beginnings, new starts. What might I want to do for myself, for personal development, some me time, and uh, I might let go of some things and bring things on. So that's just like. Uh, creating a painting. So we let go of things in the painting and then we add new things in the painting. And that keeps uh, keeps giving us amazing layers in our lives. So I invite you also to decide for yourself what it is that you want to uh, add and take away for um, this season, really moving on into the whole next year. This is really like January for me, um, a whole new year of opportunities. Um, and so what I'm also focusing on is I've got the monthly club starting up in uh, on the 18th of this month so that's in two weeks and then um, also working with teams and I created a little video to show you actually how we use uh, the art for brainstorming so I did a time-lapse movie where you can see how I created the, the painting it went quite quickly um, and then you can see how I look at the painting and I, I tie it back to my topic so have fun with that. Wishing you a great September. We'll be in touch. Bye. I am doing a brainstorming session here about the topic of what can I say about my product, my business that hasn't already been said. So I'm going to brainstorm about this with colors and lines and forms and pastels and all sorts of materials. So I, I'm going to just uh, fast forward through this uh, so you'll be able to see it. Um, here we go. Here's my palette and I've got some water. And I'm just gonna start with, uh, with one color that inspires me. I'm going to look through my left eye and I'm going to look through my right eye. So this is what this looks like. So I'm looking really through my left eye and I'm looking through my right eye. And then I squint in my eyes and I look at the painting. And when I squint in my eyes, things start to disappear and things come forward. So I really see the contrast in the painting. So I just take a step back and I look at the painting and I see what else I might want to add and what else I might want to take away. I'm going to look through the card again. So I look through the left eye, look through the right eye, and I see what else I might want to add or take away.
Okay, so I'm done with this painting. Uh, was, it happened quite quickly. It was uh, really fun to do. And now let's, uh, let's have a look at it. So now we have the opportunity to read our painting. So the topic, again, of this painting was for myself, for my business, for my studio, for everything that I offer here. So I have retreats and one-on-one -on -one and group workshops and a monthly club. And I do really a lot through the art. So the art really speaks. And my topic was, what can I say about my product, so about my, my business that hasn't already been said? So the first thing that uh, I will do when I look at the painting, a part of this brainstorming, is to see what is my first impression when I'm looking at this painting. So just very shortly, very quick, you can answer for yourself. So the first impression I see is uh, there's a lot going on, there's a lot of colors. Uh, I see some lines, but really uh, a lot of colors. I see the handprints, um, so, and I see some, I see some mud there. So first impression. And then what do I see? So I answer this very objective, so really without interpretations. So I describe what I see and I leave out any meanings. On the left hand side I see, uh, I, see yeah, I see orange, the left hand side is like from orange to red at the bottom. Um, I see a lot of blended colors, so a lot a lot of blended colors. On the right side I see green with white that had been blended together and on the right side right edge of that I see an ochre color I see uh, there to the in the middle right I see a white shape with one two three four vertical lines so I don't say that it's a hand but I just see what the shape is so I see the vertical lines and I see um, a, a, a white blotch there and in the center there is uh, a triangular shape um, at the bottom right I see another green, a green area, uh, sort of a square-like. It, it's I, What I notice is that it's a very difficult painting to describe. So there's really a lot going on, a lot of blended colors. I see some sharp edges. I see primarily three, like a triangular, sh triangular shape um, of these sharp edges. Um, they don't connect to each other, they're just these sharp edges. Um, at the bottom I see uh, from the left to the right sort of a diagonal line moving upwards uh, from red to white. And then I can, I can look at it in another way and I can look at it what do I feel. So and, and in this sense I can start saying um, interpretations, impressions, associations and I can add meanings. So I can say it reminds me of uh, like a tunnel, like there's different layers like there's the layer with the hands, so now I can say that there are hands on this painting. So the layers are the hands, and which makes me think like it's a very physical, a very physical something here um, on this area with the hands. And then this area here is going very deep, sort of into the cosmos or something. And I get the feeling of windows. So I get the feeling of that there's these windows here leading into yet another area. Um, so, so a big word here for me is windows, um, like this being one window, and then this being another window, possibly another one, possibly another window inside that window. So it's like we can, we can move into the painting. The painting has a lot of depth in that sense. So we can move into the painting from one area, sort of break through into another area, and break through into another area. We can also ask, I will ask myself, what the experience was for me. And so I really, uh, I really noticed that the, the, the big experience for me was actually, uh, I did from the, from the beginning already, I felt these layers, I felt these windows coming through. I felt that, uh, that, that this really was, without looking into it, but I felt that these, that these really offered like a whole other area to look into. And now when I relate this back to... Uh, my topic of what uh, what else can be said about my business is that this is really uh, this process of brainstorming through the art is you know is like white layers is like looking through different levels so on one level we have this what's going on here which is 
uh, which is really, um, you know, it's like a party, a fun time. It's, uh, it's very physical. We can really touch it. It's tactile. And this area starts to become something that is more untouchable in a way. It's hard to grasp exactly what it is. It's more of a feeling. It's colors. It's movement. Um, and then we go into this window here, and that's really into a whole nother world. And that world seems to be more of this, um, well, it's more, of the, the worlds also have different colors. So this world seems to be like a, this green tone, this green with white, um, very refreshing layer. And then if I look further here, I see another little box and it's sort of this yellow layer. So it's, um, so, so again, relating this back to, to my topic is that uh, by using this, uh, by using painting, we can reach into a layer that is uh, not so much uh, tactile for us. To... And so it's very much this, uh, these, these windows that perhaps I don't speak about enough. So I think that in my next communication plan, like in this video, I might add a little bit more about how art really is this whole window into all areas of our business, of our life, offering us different perspectives. So this is a fun, a fun way to, uh, to show you uh, what it is that we do through the arts and why it's such a fun and powerful exercise to use art for your business, with your teams, uh, for team development, for personal development. Uh, there are no limits. So it's been really fun to have you join here on this exercise. We'll be in contact. Bye.